Hi guys, welcome to CodesideAcademy.com. My name is Abdi Karim O Karim. So um, I want to do a quick brush up before we start uh, our journey in programming this year. And uh, happy New Year to you all. So first, uh, last year I work on uh, a project, a chatbot project, using uh, Chatterbot and Flask uh, and other uh, requirement in the in Python. So, uh, and I discovered that there is a lot of bugs. People are having different complaint in the code, and the issue is that um, I'm using Python two then. So the project is based on Python two, so, um, and most of you guys are using Python three. So the codes are not compatible. So uh, this time around, I want to do the code again with uh, Python three, and um, the version that will be compatible. So yeah, so I I assume you watching this uh, video tutorial, you already have background in Python programming and Flask. So because at the end of this video, we are going to be making use of Flask and uh, to build a REST API and how. So uh, if you don't have basic knowledge of Python, you can enroll for our free Python programming course on codesideacademy.com and. Uh, also check uh, some other courses that you have interest like web development with python for beginners so you the python programming is free so you can enroll for it to speed up so you can catch up so uh let's get started so the first thing we have to work on we have to create a, a file a, a python file called chatbots.py this this uh chatbots.py is like um like the engine room whereby we will uh, later use for putting the logic putting the logic in uh, into the system or into the uh, uh, the chatbot brain how the logic adapter will be using uh, and how how we want it to understand uh, new things so our uh, first thing we have to do we need to import a uh, chat uh, chatbot from chatterbot okay that's the first thing we have to do so once we have this ready the next thing is to instantiate uh, the chatbot object itself. Okay, we need to instantiate instant chatbot ob object itself. So, I doing chatbot. So let's, let me call this chatbot equals to chatbot. So here, uh, the name of the chatbot will be Ironside. You can uh, give your chatbot any name. Okay, so here we can take in a lot of parameters, a list of logic adapter we'll be using, which in the next class we're we'll talking about that. Uh, so once we have this, we can just leave this file here for now. Then we need to add another Python file where we do the entire logic and, and whole stuff. So let's call this, uh, let's call this um, trainer or something. Yeah, let's call this trainer.py. Okay, so once we have the trainer.py, so we need to import um, the chatbot object we have here. Hmm? Then we'll bring it here. So we'll say from chatbot import import chatbot. Okay, so it's the same chatbot we have here. I'm importing back here. So. I'm just using this object, this variable we have here. So we'll be making use of this file in the next uh, class. Okay, so once we have this, um, we need to import a trainer. So in, in Chatterbot, there is different trainer. You can have your own custom trainer, like a listing trainer. And how the last video tutorial that I did that is based on Chatterbot, I use listing trainer. But in this class, it's going to be more advanced. So we'll be using a pre-built, uh, built-in Chatterbot Copos trainer. This allows us to use some inbuilt models uh, that are already pre-trained data sets uh, in uh, Chatterbot framework. So um, I'll import this from Chatterbot. Okay. So I'll import this from Chatterbot. Then um, I need to instantiate the trainer object. So I'll create this variable called uh, trainer. Uh, let me call it trainer, just a single trainer. 
then we we'll call the charter boat Copos trainer this has a lot of pre-built uh, I mean built in um, data set and uh, model and this can be used to train Copos okay so I will say uh, or Copos whatever it is so um, I will call the chatbot object that I import it will inherit this object and remember this object contains the name of our of our chatbot which is Ironside okay so the next thing we have to do is to train the chatbot by calling trainer the variable we have up there and call this object inside the call train so trainer.train this will allow us to train some corpus some corpus data set so first uh, i'm going to uh, use the built-in data set i'll be making use of the greetings corpus and the conversation corpus these two corpus are, in, uh, are like uh, compulsory in the system because we want the, uh, the chatbot to be able to respond to greetings and to be able to respond to conversations so once we have this uh, then I'll, uh, let me create a function this function will handle the logic behind the chatbot whereby the response and uh, the input from the user this function will process it so we can call this function brain then this function will take in an argument called user input this user input will allow us to type in things whatever the user is sending to the chatbot brain the, the, the brain should be able to process it and give the chatbot uh, give the user a, a feedback mm -hmm. so um, I'll create this object I'll call it response I've got this response uh, response equals to chatbot the chatbot will import from here dot get underscore response okay and um, user handles so uh, this object allows us to get a uh, response based on the data set we train our chatbot on because if you observe the code very well the chatbot has inherit um, uh, the trainer has, has inherit the chatbot object that we have from this file which is iron side okay and it has in, uh, inherited so uh, here we can get the response of the chatbot here so here I, I can just return this let me just return this response Okay, so uh, let's test this out by calling brain. Let's send hi. So uh, I'll run trainer for now. Click clear Python 3. So if you're on Windows, you just have to type Python. But if you're on Linux, depends on the version you are using. I'm using Python 3. So it depends on the version. So I'm using Python 3. I'll type trainer.py. So the first thing that will happen, the, the chatbot will have to train itself. Have to use this uh, this corpus data set that is already inbuilt. So the chatbot, uh, the chatbot framework is based on uh, NLTK framework in Python, Natural Language Processing Toolkit. Okay, so we have to wait while it's coming up. You can ignore this error. So once the training completes, then the, the chatbot should be able to give us a specific response. Okay. So we have load this. Yet we still don't get our response. Let me see what's wrong. Okay, so let's let me just make a quick while loop. Perhaps I don't really know what wrong get, but let me just do this. So I'll take in user input again. This can just okay. Sorry about that. I didn't print, so I have to print this since I'm returning a value from the function. The function can't just display the data, the response. So I have to print it. Okay. So here we go. So this will process the data set 
that we load from here so this is a built-in data set well, uh, the next class i will show you how we can use our own custom uh, data set and load it into the chatbot memory so we are waiting for the data set the chatbot to load so the first time you run this application on your computer it's nltk it's going to download some data so just have to so now we can say the chat would give us the response hello and i said hi from here so now let's automate this task by calling while through or let's create a variable I call this variable let's call this wait equals to true I wait okay the why wait brain you can just print brain on the go brain impute so uh, let's say talk to high on side so now I think we can now run this so the, the, the chat would have to load again so we need to wait for it to load so in this lecture I assume everyone watching this tutorial has basic knowledge of Python programming the data set has been loaded successfully so I can touch to high on side now I can say hello high on side hey, I'm good okay okay so um, this is the chat boat so uh, we can provide a more advanced data set as time goes on to to make this much more perfect okay so um see you guys in the next class and the next class we'll be talking more and going more in depth on the project so thank you